This is the pour, and Luke is hiding with his face off camera down there. So this is, this is maybe the most embarrassed, morally indignifying pour I've ever been party to. Why so, is that? I recent I recently just moved. Well, last last week was my first show. Um, after moving across the continent from Alberta to Ontario, as it were. But I don't have any glassware here. So my two options are that. Which is wholly unacceptable. And <laughs> candy dish. <laughs> now, this evening I will be drinking the Trappist Row 4. <laughs> And I love it. I love it. I would rather <laughs> drink urine in this glass <laughs> than drink a Trappist beer. So, <laughs> so I'm going to drink an extra strong Trappist out of a fucking candy dish. Welcome to the poor. Greg, what are you going to drink? <laughs> I got nothing. I got nothing. Tonight, um, I am uh, trying something from a brewery whose name I cannot pronounce properly. Heig. Can I see Hug? the label? Hug. Heig. Hug. Uh, anybody familiar with nothing. familiar with with Belgian uh, beers will probably, however, recognize a beer called Delirium Tremens. And Delirium Tremens is a lovely, high-gravity, uh, monstrous Belgian beer. Uh, this is uh, this is La Guillotine uh, from from the same brewery. Um, Guillotine is a it's a golden blonde. Uh, sits at around eight and a half percent. It's got a bunch of shit on the label. I can't read, um, but it's in like nine languages, which is kind of cool. Whatever. Um, and apparently I can drink it because I am not pregnant like that chick. So that's that's what I know. Luke? Dude, I've I've seen you in profile. Are you sure you're not pregnant? Uh, I'm not. I know. I'm not. I'm not. Bad, bad taste for me of all people to make a fat joke, but it was there. I had to take it. <laughs> I'm right there with you, man. So, Greg, <laughs> right there. the most what? important part of the pour is not just the beer. It is the implement is... by which we use to open the beer. Agreed. What are you? What are you working with? Um, I am working with with my largest and most controllable opener. Um, though I have distinctly Canadian openers like this from Steam Whistle right here. Mm -hmm. Like I have, though I have um, nicely handcrafted uh, bottle openers. Like this one from Mount Begby. Mount Begby. Mm -hmm. uh, though I have, Mount Begby. Though I have um, very, very nationalistic openers, like this here moose from Canada. Uh, I choose, however, to open this with a bottle opener um, whose girth nears that of the bottle. Um, because I feel that um, I can only give such respect if I use a large piece of metal. And the shape almost matches the bottle. Um, I will, however, um, I will, however, admit that it says Sleeman on the back, but whatever. Hey, Greg, you open it. Yeah, I know. Exactly. Are you going to open yours with, uh, the thing normally associated with cans of apple juice? No. Oh, okay. What are you opening with? I am opening tonight <laughs> with a classic. Oh, shit. A true Gentleman's soldier. It's not as will. good as that acrylic Molson Canadian one over there, Molson Golden one. No, I'm saying it is Just... not. Greg, it's better. I have a better choice. I'm gonna. I've got a better choice. But anyway, okay, it go ahead. It is a classic. 1950s. Oh, I'm going and, full screen for this. And rock. As I said, 
can punch and bottle opener. This is a device that is most Classic. often associated in Canada with cans of sun ripe apple juice. I'm That's just saying. What we're working. Okay, I've changed my mind. Oh shit. I have changed my mind just really, really quick. Because this is the guillotine, uh, which was used to separate a head from a body, uh, thereby making it dead, I have chosen uh, a replacement. I will be opening this bottle with a severed head. Thereby making it dead? <laughs> yes. I am going have to open it. Have you been listening to Jerry Holkins' DM with, lately? With, <laughs> I actually have. <laughs> Um, I am opening it with a severed head using the eye socket. I'm All right, just let me pour this Trappist beer into a candy bowl. Hammer that sucker. I want to see this go down. That was somewhat anticlimactic. I can already. But here's where it's gonna. Here's where it's gonna get much better. Uh, I'm afraid that candy dish is not beer glass clean. <laughs> but it does actually look a lot like an Orval chalice. So I'm going to give you bonus points. Was the I have, uh, Angus, I have that fancy metal opener. It's in my fridge right behind me on the only bottle remaining of the beer that it was one with. <laughs> I love the look on his face when he does that. Mind about to be blown. <laughs> we may have a convert here, Angus. I believe he just gave the hand signal for for go talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Luke, would you like me to just leave you for a moment, have my beer, and then we'll come back to you? Would you like to just savor that in silence? All right, that's what we're going to do. Let's do that. All right, so I am, uh, La Guillotine is what I'm drinking. Um, golden Blonde. I, I honestly don't have a lot of uh, preconceptions about this beer. Uh, I'm just going to use this here severed head, and, uh, and I'm going to open it. And... Uh, it's a crappy bottle opener. I should have mentioned that. There we go. Um, there it is. There's the cap. Uh, La Guillotine. Since 1654. Let's see if I got my glass, beer glass, clean today. Because I did try. Heads up, lovely. A little off tan there. It is beer glass clean, I'd like to uh, just point out. Uh, that would be the salt I cleaned it with. Nice malty nose. You can smell the hops on it. It's not... Um, and it doesn't have as much of that sort of typical distinctive Belgian smell. Smell, aroma, whatever. Me word guy. Um, but it's beautiful, slightly off clear, sort of caramelly gold, effervescent, and it's nice. The alcohol is not particularly overwhelming. It's got a little bit of malt. It's got a little hop. It's a little bitter, but not, not crazy. It's, um, it's a little, okay, there is some alcohol, actually. Now that I've had the swallow, I can sort of feel the warming of it. <clears throat> um, it's not Delirium Tremens. It's not Chimay. Uh, La Guillotine is certainly drinkable. It doesn't, there's nothing left. Like, there's no aftertaste, there's no, it's, it's clean. It's in, it's subtle, the, the malt isn't overpowering, but it's also not terribly present. It's, uh, but totally drinkable. Not a bad beer. Um, I wouldn't pay $7 a bottle, but 
Pardon me, five? Sure. Um, nice. I'll drink it. I'll enjoy it. Um, but it's not, uh, it didn't, didn't, it's not knocking the. Yeah, it's just the, it's, it's kind of, yeah. It's there. It's, it's good. It's a Belgian. Yeah, it's strong. Yeah, it's golden. Yeah. It, um, mm. Okay. It's so there you go. It's that. It's uh, it's not mediocrity, but it's not uh, extraordinary. Luke, how you feeling, buddy? Oh. <laughs> we just kind of listened to the random body noise thing. Tell me about your beer because mine is is just fine, but unremarkable in all other ways. What do you? What have you got? Um, really subdued spice. <laughs> Leather. Pit fruit and happiness. Pit fruit and happiness. Like a fig. I was going to say dates, figs, something like that. I know dates fig. aren't a pit fruit, but fig. Wow. It's a figgy, leathery. Candy dish of deliciousness? Yeah. <laughs> Do I have you... my rating. Do you regret the the candy dish? There's a candy dish where? That's that a boy. That's what I'm talking about. Add a boy. Uh, you have Cowards. your rating. You have your rating. Yep. Um, I think I think I have my rating. I think I'm gonna probably fall under the curve, but I have my rating. Um, I'm not even gonna grace my rating. No way. I'm not even gonna grace my rating with. A whole lot of discussion. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna say. Um, You're sure discussing the shit out of it right now. Well, it's because I had to bring up the thing and start typing it. So, uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go three point two five. Ooh. So, talk to me about your uh, your rating. You're good with it. You you think four? Just, really? Just let me. Because a four is pretty high praise, man. Um, what's the shortcut for YouTube? Uh, there isn't one. Just YouTube. yt.be? No, just just youtube.com slash risk <laughs> that's, that's all there is. I just said reviewed live. Gave it a 3.25. That's what I did. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Um, so, a four. You solid with a four? This is my review. The world seems yep. to think mine was a 3.6, but... Yup. Exclamation mark. <laughs> hashtag risk. YouTube.com backslash risk CA 3.75. Click. Oh, you went 3.75. You didn't quite make it to the four. No. You might get there with the shime. I'm just saying. Um, awesome. Uh, that's what I'm... Now... Fuck, I think the bottle's gone. The bottle Whatever. is the bottle is gone. If you want to follow us um, on Untapped and you want to uh, you want to see our ratings, follow us on Untapped. We'll follow you back. Uh, hit us up. Uh, this is where you find us. Uh, untapped.com slash user slash Mr. Wilkinson. Untapped.com slash user slash G Scratch because I am a person, not a corporation. Uh, or at least that's what we tell people. To be a plus four. We. This this beer is very strong. It's good. Hey. That's that's the pour for this week. Cheers, Luke. Prost, Cheers, buddy. Prost. <laughs>